of Austin wants to annex the land surrounding the Circuit of the Americas track, and thousands of dollars are at stake. Money not only to be made, but also to be lost. Emergency Service District 11 has the closest fire station to the track, but if annexed by Austin, they could be losing some much-needed tax revenue. Chris Sodge is live at one of those stations that will be asked to provide services in the area with or without that money. Chris? Well, Leslie, this station belongs to ESD number 11, and they sit just a few blocks away from the Coda track. You can see the tower off in the distance. If anything happens, they'll be responding, but they also respond year-round. And if Austin annexes this area, the district could lose up to a million dollars. Long just a store on the side of a county road, Rick Duca and his county corner shop have had to get by without the perks of being in a city. We not get the city facilities and everything, all the services, we not going to get nothing. And then along came a racetrack that could change everything. The city of Austin now wants these county roads, and Rick could get those city services. Wish I had a future. But if someone's taking, that means someone's giving up. And emergency service district 11's fire rescue might have it taken right out of their hands. I don't know that there needs to be winners and losers when it comes to public safety. Chief Ken Bailey says annexing part of their district into Austin could cost them anywhere from half a million to a million dollars. This is the district that's closest to the track and is supposed to keep everyone safe no matter who the land belongs to. When those roads are choked down, then it's our responsibility to make sure that they get the same service that they did before the race. So Bailey's proposing an agreement with the city that would return some of that tax revenue back to the district. I think that this is an unusual request. It's not something that's occurred before. But when all the city's fire departments are on the other side of I-35, Bailey thinks there'll still be plenty of need for ESD 11, but they have needs also. What we want them to do is include us in their service plan and leave our sales tax in place. And the county commissioners support this proposal by ESD 11. Now they have to reach an agreement with the city. They're scheduled to meet with Austin City Council members on Thursday. We're live in southeast Travis County, Chris Sadegi, KXN News.